The Giants can't spend the way they want during NFL free agency because of salary cap restrictions, but still found a way to add value on day one. Joining us is New York Post Giants beat writer Paul Schwartz to give us the inside scoop on the Giants free agency news. Now, Paul, they wasted no time strengthening their offensive line, signing Mark Glowinski and John Feliciano. Now, you called them uh, offensive line, immediate offensive line starters. Now, what are your thoughts on the signings? Yeah, I think they have to be. And, um, yeah, I was a little surprised they were able to shop in the mid-level to get an offensive lineman. Glowinski, he was a three-year starter in Indianapolis with the Colts. We all know they ran the ball really well. He's a better run blocker than he is a pass blocker. Um, I think he's definitely an upgrade over Will Hernandez. I think he'll start at right guard. As far as uh, John Feliciano, he's mostly been a guard with – the Bills, he has great familiarity with the Giants, obviously. Joe Shane, Brian Dable, the new offensive line coach, Bobby Johnson, they all were with the Bills in Buffalo, so they know Feliciano well. The Giants signed him to be a center, not a guard. I think he moves in one-year contract to be their center. So after day one, they definitely got better on the offensive line. All right, Joe Shane wasting no time. Now tight end Evan Ingram has signed a sweet deal with the Jacksonville Jaguars, leaving the Giants with no tight ends on their current roster. Are there any tight ends left in free agency that they could bring in, or do they do address that during the draft? Now they have, they have a couple of tight ends on their roster, but nobody proven. You're right. Uh, Evan Ingram's gone to the Jaguars. The Giants cut Kyle Rudolph, so they need help. Um, I think mostly that's going to come in the draft. Look, I'd love to see them sign someone like Hayden Hurst. He can block. He can catch passes. Uh, he's healthy. He's a guy that uh, would really help the Giants. Can they afford him? Probably not. Uh, there's, you know, Max Williams, maybe someone like him, Jesse James, uh, O.J. Howard. There are names out there, but names cost money, and um, the Giants do not have a lot of money in free agency for a tight end. I think that's more maybe they pick up some guy – later in free agency, and uh, they really hit that hard in the draft. It's funny you say names cost money because the rumors about what New York will do with cornerback James Bradbury and Saquon Barkley continue to float out there. I'm just going to ask you straight up, will Bradbury and Saquon be opening week starters for the Giants this season and why? Fast answer, no, yes. Okay, I think no for Bradbury. Look, $12 $12 million on the salary cap if they trade him or cut him. That's a lot of money. Joe Shane needs that money. He wants to get $40 million in cap savings. Bradbury's a good player, and if he leaves, the Giants are not as good a team. But you need great players to make great money, and Bradbury's making great money. Uh, I think the Giants would like to trade him. I think they'll take um, you know, cents on the dollar. I th- think they would take a fourth-round pick for him if they can get him. Uh elsewhere good player but like I said they can't afford him with that cap price as far as Saquon Barkley the Giants are not shopping him I think they would like to keep him uh if they could get rid of him it would be about seven million in cap savings uh they might be able to add two running backs for that price but I think right now unless somebody blows the Giants out of the water with an offer for Barkley I think he stays so to sum up Bradbury I don't see him in a Giants uniform Saquon, I think he is in a Giants uniform and gets to uh, play out the last year of his contract and see if he can, uh, you know, become a great running back again. Paul Shorts, thanks for the inside scoop.